beautiful, slightly chilly Clovis, California morning looking at a very cool and very slick street rod. You won't see one of these every day, so we're going to walk around and share it with you. We'll actually cover the engine compartment, the undercarriage and trunk and so on and so forth. It's about sitting on about a year old restoration and about 271 miles according to the odometer right now. Um, spent some time with it, get to know it a little bit. Just a great looking car. Uh, kind of car you can uh, take to a show and definitely people will come up and crowd around your beauty there. Has a few subtle touches to it. It's actually called a Model 66. A Model 66 is just a little bit shorter than a Model 88 47 Olds. The 88 had a longer nose because it had an 8. Model 6, 66 would originally had a 6 cylinder. And yes, he was respectful to the car by putting an Olds under the, underneath the hood. We'll share that with you in a minute here. Little subtle body modifications include 52 Merc French uh, headlights. They're beautiful. They have the uh, halogen style beams in them with a turn signal marker right there. Um, the, the grill is just beautiful. Most of the time you don't see these plated uh, because they're a pot metal, so it took a little work. I think New Image uh, plating here in uh, Fresno area did all the chrome plating on it. It's just very nice. A lot of the factory trim on it's just beautiful. Look at the mascot here with the, you know, you can kind of see the translucent wings on it. Long hood on these babies, hiding underneath that hood, speaking of a hood, is a 455 Olds. And uh, hooked up to a turbo 400 automatic transmission, Ford 9 inch rear differential, very well built aluminum heads, so on and so forth, but we'll spend a little time with you on that. Those are Koi's wheels, it has, uh, we'll cover tire size on the undercarriage has 20s on the back and 18s on the front. We're going to show you some neat things as we go around throughout the video when we cover undercarriage and stuff. One of them, and you'll hear me talking about it in the undercarriage video too, this rocker molding that says 455 is all custom one-off made billet piece because he couldn't find the original rocker molding. Uh, all the trim's been gone through. Nice little badge there to show you what it is. Uh, another modification is the door handles have been shaved. It does come with remotes for access. There's also an emergency access over on the pa uh, driver's side. Um, go around here and we'll just hop in here and we'll give you a feel inside here. Door jam to door jam. He used all button head hardware, so on and so forth. Very nice car. Restored by a gentleman here in Fresno that does a lot of hot rods. Um, it's an ultra leather and you know when I first looked at it, you know what, you'd have a hard time telling it wasn't actual cowhide. These seats are out of an Alexis uh, coupe. They're very nice. They're multi, you know, you can set the recline, so on and so forth, and they're both power. Uh, so they left a lot of the factory hardware trim here. It has a six speaker audio system, system, nothing super duper crazy, anything like that, but it's got a nice audio system so you can listen to it. It has vintage air conditioning. We'll sit down in here and kind of give you a feel. The dash piece here on the lower is all original. It's all been replated and beautiful. There's an I did it's tilt steering column. But these two pieces, the glove box piece and the gauge face there, are handmade out of billet, much like the lower uh, piece. This is where all the uh, air controls are and so on and so forth. You'll see all the modern, wi modern wiring. He ran two aught gauge all the way to the back for the battery. ARP controls. There's the four switches right there. Just very nice. Same kind of fit and finish throughout the car. Just a great little uh, kind of car you can show and take to the show and drive to the show. Airbags, you raise it up what you want. Now this console is actually custom made also. And this billet door is handmade. And there's access. There's a toggle switch there. and You'll see another remote there for the audio system. Four cup holders. Seat belts in the front and the rear. We'll kind of give you a peek of the rear here. At Spud's Garage, we'll have still photos and all that kind of stuff for you. Um, we just kind of like to cover what we can as we walk around and what might be sitting in my brain. Forward leading edge uh, fender shields are nice. It keeps it from getting all chipped up. We'll step back and let you take a good look at this baby. We've got it down low. It's definitely not at drive ride height. You can bring it up a little bit. You can put it wherever you want. Um, 46 uh, Chevy LED taillights that have been Frenched in the tail here. 
Uh, the deck lid's been smoothed. So what you're looking at is French headlights to the original body, French tail lights and a rear deck lid smooth. And these cars were sleek already, so you really didn't need to modify the body too much. Shaved door handles, nice factory chrome, Magnaflow exhaust system. It's got a cool sound to it. You'll hear that throughout the video here. Step back, let's take a look. See this driving down the road, you're definitely gonna get a thumbs up on this thing. Otherwise, fairly, you know, he went through all the window regulators, so on and so forth. Uh, all new glass in it with the exception of the rear window because they're a little bit hard to get. You might see a couple little age scratches right there in the windshield where it got scratched over the years from guys working on it or that kind of thing. But uh, all the glass is new in the car forward. You can see the body is very straight. I'll hop inside here. Again, this is all custom, nicely stitched ultra leather, and it really looks like true leather. It has a grain of leather. Um, it's black, so we've got a double black car. Those rocker panels right there that I, we talked about are custom made right there. We'll go ahead and flip this seat up so we can show you the back seat. I know that seat slides forward, but you'll see an audio speaker over in the corner over there, but there's six speakers in the audio system. No big amps or anything to drain batteries or anything like that. You want to put a big sound system in it, I'm sure there's room to put one somewhere. They're making the amps so small nowadays that the dash is just gorgeous on this car. So I did it, I did it tilt steering column. Let me push this seat back here. We're going to hop in here. Oh, just look at the chrome. It's just beautiful. Column shift, turbo 400, 455 volts, four barrel, 271 miles at the time of odometer reading. Air conditioning. Oops, I hit my camera strap there. Old vintage style heater underneath here. Oldsmobile Deluxe, so it retains some of the factory look and feel. I'll let him tell me. Where's the starter switch, Gary? Oh, it's right next to it. Yep. I'll get it right. I'm looking right at the switch there. We'll get out and let you hear it here. I'm thinking it's about time we tell you to get in. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. I dig my job. I get to look at a lot of different cars. This is definitely very unique and neat. You have a great day. Get in. Hang on to the end of the video. Go to Spuds Garage. I always say this is the fun part of the video. I love getting under the hood. This is a slick looking car, but under the hood it's even just a, just a notch up. It has a 455 Olds. Uh, it originally started out as a 7442 block from what we know um, and then it was built from there. We'll have more specs at Spud's Garage. It has a lot of Mondello uh, components on it. It has Edelbrock aluminum heads, uh, Mondello billet drive, a lot of the accessories here, the dress, so on and so forth. It has a nice little caddy air filter from Easy Street Customs here. Um, Edelbrock aluminum heads, I know I already said that. It has a polished intake manifold believe that to be an Edelbrock. Mallory distributor, you'll notice he used uh, braided lines with AN fittings on, on uh, a lot what he could there. It has power steering, power rack and steering. It has power disc brakes. You're seeing that right there. Power The power booster itself. It is a uh, Walker uh, copper radiator, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's a four-row copper radiator that's, they're very expensive. And the AC, um, you'll see the AC compressor is there polished, but the AC condenser itself is mounted under the left front apron over there with its own cooling fan, which, in, you know, enhances the cooling. You don't have an AC uh, condenser sitting in front of your radiator. There's a coolant recovery bottle there. It has a uh, electric cooling fan up front here. 
These are uh, Modelo headers, I believe. Am I correct about that? So a lot of Modelo accessories. Um, it's an Edelbrock Torker intake manifold is what that is. And again, the braided lines on this, and it's a, a, a quick fuel carburetor, Holley design. Pretty healthy little car. Um, tranny behind it is a... Turbo 400. It's a Turbo 400. So, anyway, you get an idea of the old... You don't see many of these, and it's cool to see one as a custom with the airbag ride system. Um, anyway, hang on to the end of the video. We'll cover the trunk, and we'll get the undercarriage for you so on and so forth. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com, but make sure you hang on. I'll show you the trunk here. We've got the panels off so that you can see uh, inside the compartment here. These panels actually just pop into the these panels right here into those holes right there. He's run two watt wire from the battery to the forward so you can tell a lot of nice work was done here. There's the air ride compressor over here nice little storage, uh, storage compartment. There's the air lines for the compressor itself. Behind here are uh, four ports where you could manually with an air compressor raise the car should you have a system failure, that kind of thing. Um, it's done in the same material, the ultra leather, as the interior of the car. Very nicely done interior. The trunk of this is just really nice. A little courtesy light on the back here. Um, anyway, hang on to the end of the video. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com when you're done where we'll have plenty of still photos. With you. We have it raised up high so you can kind of see the undercarriage and suspension on it. It has a uh, Fat Man Stage 3, Stage 4, uh, fully independent front suspension with tubular control arms. Has rack and pinion Mustang 2 style power steering. Very, very much a body-off restoration. Nicely done. All new hardware, that kind of thing. Disc brakes in the front. Power brakes. You can raise it up. This is Ride Tech airbags in it. We'll get the tire size over here while we're at it here for you. The front tire sizes. These are uh, Neato 55s, I believe. 555s is what they're called. Um, the fronts are 225-40ZR18, and uh, those are Akoi's wheels, correct? Yeah. See the little, this rocker panel here is all billet aluminum, handmade for the bottom of the car. I probably already said that in another portion of the video. You'll see the gas shocks that enhance the ride with the airbag system, turbo 400 automatic transmission. There's a trans cooler right there. All AN braided lines. This whole rocker piece is uh, polished and built for this car. The exhaust is all MagnaFlow stuff, all the way front to back kind of deal. Um, there's a fuel part of the fuel system right there. Again, the uh, oil cooler for the transmission. The rear tires, these Corey's wheels are just bitching. Um, the rear tire size, I'll get it here. Might as well get it done. 255-35ZR20s in the rear. Drum brakes. Ford 9-inch differential. It's got custom rear suspension in it where they've done kind of modernized and customized it with trailing arm type, trailing arm type suspension. Um, who's the manufacturer of the uh, rear end housing again? Gary? The rear end was built by Fearless Gear. Fearless Gear. It'll, it was built to handle up to a thousand horsepower, if you can believe that or not. I don't think we got there with the motor, but I don't think that was the intention. They just wanted it stout. They actually built it for a Mustang, and then the guy didn't come pick it up. Oh. I ended up buying it from him. kind of get a feel all the hardware and stuff. We'll show you up here in just a minute. You'll see the AC lines were run down from the up front here where they could run the AC condenser and it takes it away from the radiator so it allows a better airflow or anything like more airflow so on and so forth. You can see the condenser. Um, there's also up here just underneath the 455 here is a cable and an emergency cable if you needed to open up the door on the car. 
and the battery was dead or something like that. Mondello headers. Anyway, you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for hanging out to the end of the video. Have a